It is midnight and welcome to Porto. Day one in Porto, Portugal. As you can see, it's a little cloudy, but it's not as cold as you would think. So I have breakfast, I'm gonna walk around, explore the city a little bit, and I have a nail appointment later. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm excited to go and see the city. One of my favorite things to do whenever I'm on a trip is to go and visit the historical homes or historical buildings. The English tour was not for hours though and unfortunately it was so rainy. The grounds were so beautiful. I would have liked to have walked around a little bit longer but it wasn't going to happen. So it was off to go and taste some wine and pork. I am truly the luckiest girl in the entire world. By complete accident, I came across this Duro Port and Wine Tasting Festival where all you have to do is buy a wine glass for three euro and then you get to go from booth to booth for unlimited port and wine tasting. So instead of driving out into the rain and going vineyard to vineyard, it's like all the vineyards of the region came to me. This is like Olympic level bottomless wine tasting. It's a complete dream come true. probably one of the most fun things I have ever done. Like value to fun, the best thing I've ever done. I also got some little bread biscuits and some cookies and some chocolates. Ah, this is amazing. I love Portugal. I love Portugal. This road is treacherous. Actually, I'm a little confused because someone today told me that this restaurant is two stars, but from my understanding is that they used to have a star and then they got it taken away. Ugh, no matter what, it'll be a great meal. I'm excited, it's gorgeous. The wine is gonna be fantastic. 
And honestly, that like festival today was so amazing. It just put me in the best mood. So I'm super excited for dinner and I think I'm gonna have a fabulous time. And look, how cute. Put me outside for a little pre-dinner drink. Look how cute. Obsessed. Chugga, 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 chugga. This place is so beautiful. And I'm such a city girl. I love Las Vegas. If I ever moved from Las Vegas, I think I would still live in a big city. But whenever I come to places like these that are gorgeous, I just always think to myself, like, I could do it. I could live in the country. It is so beautiful. Maybe I would like change my ways and I'd be one with, you know, nature. And the truth is it's probably probably get over it pretty quick. It's just so pretty here. I just, Portugal has been amazing. I love it. As they say, when the fun stops, that's a Las Vegas gambling reference if you don't know it. Actually, gambling addiction reference in Las Vegas. There's little pamphlets, it, it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm on my way home after three weeks in Europe. This sucks. <laughs> I am ready to be home, but this sucks. I've had so much fun. And I'm about to board. But this is it, this is the end of my trip. I can't wait to get home. And thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and drop a comment. And I will see you next week.